agriculture, just insane thousand species stuff. Just over next level organic. That's what I was bringing to this community, okay? But now what I'm bringing to this community is a big stack of cash from the federal government from a class action lawsuit against the FBI for lying to this fucking list of businesses and people. Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna need you to share this video. This video is probably gonna be shadow banned by YouTube and totally friggin' targeted by the FBI with their bot accounts to just click and then go away. So it will totally ruin this video's ability to actually make it to the people who should really see it because it's kind of important. So first, let's get some things out of the way right away. You should watch the whole video because there's a lot to it. I'll try to make it as quick and painless as possible, okay? So just some facts that we all should be aware of here. Number one, the FBI has never had a liberal leader in its entire existence, okay? Number two, uh, this is actually a crime right here. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails. And we heard crickets from the FBI. What did they do? They went after here. Secretary Clinton used several different servers and she also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email on that personal domain. Okay, so if you're a female watching, you might want to put the FBI on the list of people to blame on top of Trump and the Supreme Court for taking away your constitutional rights to your own body, okay? The FBI had a play in that too. They basically handed the 26th election to Trump. Okay, because that little timing of that little investigation. Okay, so now, and why do we even have the FBI? Well, somebody thought it would be a good idea to outlaw booze. And that's how we got the FBI. So we got the FBI with like the most horrible idea of a crime ever, okay? And the, and the FBI, just loves them some crimes that have no victims. That they just conjure up the crime, okay? And they just keep turning new things into crime. And they have plans to turn a lot of new things into crime, okay? Project 2025, all right? That is the FBI's wet dream, okay? They are an extremist right-wing organization Period, okay? They've never had a left-hand, left, leftist, left-e leader. So, it's just, the longer you don't have any sort of pull one way, you're just gonna keep going and going and going down the hole. And go just look up for yourself the letter they wrote to MLK, okay? And all the suspicious things in the history of the FBI. I'll just let you go and do the research yourself, okay? So now, me, why the hell? They were messing with me since forever, okay? And it probably stems all the way back to some false information on some bank loan statements way back in the 90s, okay? So then once they have somebody's name, they just want to keep them in prison forever, especially if they're a liberal person. They are extremist right wingers who think prisons and a good I prisons are a good idea. And just as a reference, you can judge a society on its number of cells and people that carry guns to maintain the society. Okay? And by those metrics, our society is horrible. We have the worst cages in the world, okay? The FBI has zero interest in solving crime. They want to solve crimes, okay? But doing, taking steps to end crime, and that's kind of my thing. I have a whole playlist here called a resource-based economy, all right? Then it goes through and explains. You'll have to watch a lot of videos to really grasp it because true solutions aren't sound bites. True solutions are actually complicated things that most people never think about.
about or can even comprehend without taking hours to listen to so they understand what's going on, okay? So resource-based economy solves crimes. I also uh, provided people with their medical marijuana. So we passed medical marijuana here in like 96 in Oregon, okay? And people wanted their medicine, but the feds, they don't care about truth or facts or nothing. The whole drug war was started in 71 by Nixon to go after liberals and blacks. And we've known that this specifically, I mean, people have known the entire time, but it's been out in the public sphere for over 10 years. This has been common knowledge to people who keep up on things like this, okay? So, and and the the, the DEA was spawned out of the FBI to go under this whole drug thing that is just literally, like the framers of the Constitution would have written a way where you couldn't have criminalized substances if they ever would have thought somebody would be such a moron to criminalize substances. And the answer is not crime. The answer is regulation, period. Laws suck. Laws you have to enforce with guns and cages. Regulations tell people how to do things safely, right? Okay, would have been a whole different paradigm if Nixon didn't start this drug war with lies and continue, oh, no medical marijuana, or there's no medical value in marijuana. Oh, right, yeah, sure. We've been living with the freaking liars with this, and the FBI, we love to reinforce this, because do you know how much money these people have stolen from people over the years? Okay? They've stolen over $300,000 from me. The cops stole, okay? Put in their pockets in front of me. That's why everything's illegal, is so the cops can get their, their pay, okay? Now, actually solving why people do crimes, I've got like entire playlist here. I've already referenced that. That's the direction humans should be going, okay? Crime and punishment is horseshit. It's solvable by technology, okay? Abundance, boom, abundance, and now like everything, that they stand for, they being the FBI, the system, the, the black robes, all the maniacs with guns and cop car, okay? Abundance. They're almost completely unnecessarily at that point. So they're going to maintain not abundance so they can maintain their relevance, okay? So now I'm this big evil guy that smuggles weed and and had a little bank thing going on there okay so I get out of prison I get carpal tunnel I am in the doctor's office I to this day okay still every night of my life because I got a horrible uh, carpal tunnel surgeries because I had the the Nazi FBI in my doctor surgeon's office every single time I went to see my surgeon there was a different FBI agent in there so I got horrible service thanks to those Nazis in the FBI okay so then 2008 comes around I'm like working for this dude that's pretty much just like ripping me off at this uh, uh, strip club scene right there's one company advertising in the exotic magazine now, I'm not going to tell this whole story because this story is going to be monetized. It's a fascinating story. I'm not hiding anything. I'm just not going to... I have stories in my autobiography. Fascinating stories. No views. Zero views. Right? And it's kind of my fault for how I launched this channel and kind of messed it up. But I'm not going to continue to just tell my epic freaking stories and just throw them away for no monetization. I, I mean, these are just epic, epic stories, okay? But I'm gonna give you a, just a little preview. So I answered an ad with a girlfriend. We got work with this company. Worked a handful of times. She was horrible. I was great. I then, over the course of 10 years, ended up running the whole show, making millions of fucking dollars, making other people's, what we called 
customs, okay? So people would send us their scripts. We would do it. They'd pick the costumes, the models, the makeup, and all this stuff, and we would just do what they wanted us to do. Some of the popular things we would do and put for sale, if they were super popular, whatevers, okay? And this is a spectrum that is just ginormous, huge. Let me just like, like four, like two women, two men models. Actually, the men, one of the men was just like my, one of my employee type people in track suits with track shoes on their feet and track shoes on their hands running like this for 25 minutes just around i mean i can tell endless so what the nazis and the fbi are going and they're going out of out of this many different just all over the freaking place whatever whatever people wanted and just for the record my company exceptionally respected everybody loved working for me some of my employees that sucked didn't love working for me because i fucking yell at people but other than that models loved working for my company absolutely flew people all over the whole country top fucking shit everything no pro nobody there's no there's no victims there's no complaints there's no nothing there's just a bunch of people that made a mountains of money legally and it pisses off the nazis and the fbi because they have no skills they have zero skills everybody stops doing crime tomorrow they're fucking lost in life i build sets and props and act and run cameras and edit and do special effects i got more fucking skills in this fucking part of my body than every fucking cop in one lump they're the most skillless people on the face of the earth. Now they're running around Bend, all these businesses, this list of businesses here that they've gone into and they've fucking told horse shit to, okay? Lies, manipulate, because they hate me, because I hate them, we hate each other. But they're a bunch of lion sacks of shit that are taking advantage of the fact that they have a fucking badge. And a bunch and, and idiots just equate fucking oh well, somebody with the badge. Yeah, you know what? Look at this video here. All cops know how to do is lie. Period. There used to be a law that protected everybody in this country called entrapment. That law got eliminated in the drug war, okay? It has turned our police into absolute criminals. They don't have to abide by any rules. There is no fucking oversight. And I've made videos like this before, okay? So they know, I know, that they're broken AF, lying sacks of trash, and let's, let's, uh, Okay, I come out here to start a farm on a YouTube channel, like, like whatever horse shit they've made up. And, and, and for the record, here's how the FBI makes up their horse shit and is telling it to people. They say, who is this person we needed to fucking tell horse shit to? And they'll go into their little fucking computer of all knowing shit. And they'll look into these people and they'll go, oh, if I say this, to this person, that's gonna make this person really fucking hate Gouda. That's how they operate. So there's probably 50 different fucking stories out there. That's probably more most reasonable, okay? But the probably the foundation is they decided to cherry pick some of this videos that I make for other people and then go, oh, this is his thing or whatever, right? And because they comment in my videos, I guess leaving clues to find out what lying sacks of shit they are, like they specifically named a model and some, and she was the worst. She was horrible. She fucked up more. She was, well, 
she was like that because she was working for the cops and they were like, yeah, fuck his shoots up, fuck his shoots up. Fuck it. And I still made millions of dollars. And that's what pisses them off. Okay, now my story is of buckling down, working my effing ass off 16 hour days, 10 hour days, seven days a week, taking not even five fucking vacations in 10 years, just working all the time, putting all the money back in the business all the time, okay? That's how you make it, okay? That's how come I made it, and now I get to live on royalties because I gave up 10 years of my life working ridiculous hours, being extremely stressed out. Why am I not still doing it? What? Why am I not still blowing glass? I'm one of the OG glass blowers. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars in the 90s blowing glass. Why don't I do that anymore? Maybe because I get tired of doing the same thing over and over again because I've got a fucking huge brain. Okay? So these Nazis in the FBI, right? I'm coming out here to start a farm, making YouTube videos about it, doing all this. Well, they're running around telling the local fascist, you know, whatever horseshit lie they decide to piss this local fascist off with. So I'm not even out here fucking seconds. Undercover sheriff telling me, ask me this, what are you doing out here? My answer, I'm out here to green the desert, okay? Uh, www.restorethestep.com. Ah, boom, did it. Green, and it's not even a desert. So, these Nazis trying to fuck up my plan to green the desert? Ha! You didn't do it, you fucking Nazis. I greened the desert. Number one, it's not a desert. Number two, it's green now just like I said I was going to do, okay? And that's literally his response to me saying that I'm going to green the desert is they're going to want to kill you. I haven't even been here two weeks. Okay, now here's another fucking thing, right? I was going to be caked up with this invention. I had on talks with J.B. Weld of freaking signed non-disclosure agreements, all of a sudden just crickets. Who goes down a road that far with somebody on an invention business deal and then just doesn't ever contact them again? That's the Nazis at the FBI contacting that guy, spewing their Nazi horseshit, fucking up my bank, okay? So now, are you getting a big picture here, Central Oregon, that you've been lied to by some fascist retards that just have it out for somebody? Okay, because this YouTube channel is pretty much like, doesn't matter what they say, they can say all the lies in the world, but when there's video upon video upon video that just contradicts everything they say, like, oh, I'm some psycho, like, who the fuck psycho people try to invent a, a, a flying fire extinguisher with the whole program to send fire extinguishers after lightning strike wildfires, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing these fucking FBI Nazi morons says lines up with reality, okay? I made other people's, and you know, I'm proud of that shit. I fucking, I get fucking calls, I'm broke, I need money and all this, and I could actually get fucking people that were gonna lose women, that were gonna lose their applied kids and shit, get them money so they could pay their bills and make it through, the world that freaking got trashed in 2008, okay? And I just grew and grew and grew and grew through honest, hard work and determination is how I got all the money. There's nobody running around, oh, he ripped me off or not. I'm not out here hiding from, who would start a fucking YouTube channel to hide from people? So, we got the sheriff, undercover sheriff telling me that they're gonna wanna kill me. Here's a, here's my suspicious fire video, okay? So, they arsoned my house, they arson here, they tried to frame me for another arson. This is all the FBI, all right? Now, if you're somebody that has heard my name, 
and you have been like, holy cow, you've even heard rumors, or the FBI has just gone right up to you, you're owed money. They fucking lied to you to cost you money, to give you anxiety, to make you not be able to sleep well because you're so stressed out about this psycho dude that they just came in and told you about. Well, it's all a fucking lie. Period. You can just watch 1500 videos and see what your opinion is and your opinion will be 1000 times more valid than anything that ever came out of an FBI's fucking mouth okay and look Google's the freaking little bitch of the FBI you can't review an FBI station because I did and they didn't like it and they made Google remove your ability to fucking comment on the FBI. So they have zero oversight. There's nobody making sure they're not fucking Nazi shit. Look at that letter they sent to, to MLK. These aren't the good people, all right? These are the types of people that say, oh, you wrote a stupid ass law and you need some thugs to enforce it? Hold my beer. That's the fucking FBI, okay? Fuck you, motherfuckers. You're a bunch of lying sacks of shit. All of you, okay? And I apologize to everybody in Bend because you have been abused by their fucking lies. If the FBI would have never fucking told anybody or come around or nothing to do with me or anything, you would have an organic farm. You would have another booth at your farmer's market to get badass local vegetables, fruits. I mean, I was going to do permaculture, just insane thousand species stuff, just over next level organic. That's what I was bringing to this community. Okay. But now what I'm bringing to this community is a big stack of cash from the federal government, from a class action lawsuit against the FBI for lying to this fucking list of businesses and people and anybody that heard the rumor or anybody that ever heard anything pay. You're all getting paid, okay? You're welcome. Go talk to a lawyer. The lie and sacks of shit at the FBI, fuck off, okay? The latest thing they did, go talk to the new little secondhand sports place over there in the little area over there by the lot, okay? That's their latest little venture. Go in there and turn them against me because I see a new business and a bunch of stuff I was going to put on my eBay. I'm like, you know what? I'll go help out this new little business because I got some pretty nice stuff. That's how they treat local business. They don't care about your business. They care about their lies and they care about keeping their fucking dirty little secret lies and their tactics secret. All right. So thanks for watching the video to the whole end and you're welcome. Thank you for